Recently, I purchased this Anchor uh, Solix F2000 portable uh, solar generator is what they call it, but just a battery bank. Been very, very happy with it. And I also, too, more recently bought the ZOUPW, these newish solar panels that are 450 watts with a whole bunch of uh, new features uh, and the latest and greatest. And look, they're pulling in. It's a 450 watt panel and it's pulling in 492 watts from outside. It is cooler, but the sun is out in, you know, full, full sun. And we are in November. So, like I said, it's cooler outside. So, when it's 100, 100 degrees outside and your panels are 120, 130 degrees, then they produce less power. But, like November, December, when it's cooler, look at that number. 492 watts out of a 450-watt panel, solar panel. Here are my panels. They're outside. I just have them leaning up against uh, the side of my house. And even more, I have a 35-foot 10-gauge uh, cable. They're just mounted up right there. Just have them coming up. And unfortunately, there was a little tear in my screen. I did not do that, but I'm running it inside 35 feet directly to my uh, to my anchor solar generator power battery bank and uh, running some lights and heaters but look at that man that thing that panel is cranking out the power over what it's rated typically from what I've seen if you get a 400 watt panel you'll be lucky to get 200 watts on a premium nice sunny day and this is pulling almost 500 watts. In the other days, I've seen 450, 460 um, for for hours on hours, but 490 is what I've the greatest of what I've seen uh, as far as the uh, output. I got them from the directly from their website, the manufacturer website, and I there was a 40 40 dollar off. And so these panels were regularly about 460 and I got them for about 425 no tax and free shipping. I think it's worth uh, considering these uh, solar panels and they're they're more rigid with an aluminum frame than the real flexible ones that bend and fold. At least fold into uh, into you know four sections into one section where you, you can pick them up with the handles right there. But the other ones are more flexible where they'll, they'll bow. They'll bow in this direction. And they're just more flimsy. These are much more solid. I have it, uh, the wire, the 30 foot, uh, 35 foot wire, which the longer the wire, the more power that's lost to the inside of the house. There would be even more power. So you've got some loss. The longer your wire and the thinner or thicker the gauge plays a lot into the uh, power. Uh, this you know the, as much power being delivered to your your battery bank. And it is an XT60. One XT60 right there plugged into the back. Thanks for watching. Check it back. Like the video if you liked it, found it informative. Catch me on future videos. Bye-bye.